Hello, this is Arabella from Arabella's Heart for Book Art. Let's start. Um, put a book onto my cover, and it is uh, totally flat now. <laughs> it worked. So, this is the back side, this will be the inside uh, pocket. Oops as I'm throwing stuff around again. So what I wanted to do was show you how I made this embellishment that I then put on the cover. On the back cover it's over here with brads. How you call them brads? No, um, eyelets. I always mix them up for some reason but well. So here also this is a little bit bended, but that's okay. So, uh, as I'm pulling it off, so I did want to sew this this piece only, and that is still possible to do. So, I think I will do that with this one. But uh, what I did was, and I'm just starting. So this is part two. Welcome. I uh, cut it out, so this is how it looked, and I cut it out, I cut this away from, um, well it was like this, and I cut it a little bit close, here you see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and here you see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so I repeated this one over here. And I will cut it here and this and fussy cut this white off and this will um, go on the cover like this but then I will um, I did use just uh, a glue stick so that's not really holding well as you can see and of course I pulled it too far so but well I digress a lot <laughs> I do that a lot so here uh, I can yeah hang some dangly stuff onto it right so okay how I did this I just um, put a pe uh, took a pencil I mean and then may uh, put a dot about where I want those um, I want to say brads again. Eyelets to go. <coughs> right over here. And I did do this before. It's really easy to do it before uh, you put it onto your uh, cover. So let me put that aside. I do use the big bite for this. I uh, chose to um, get this uh, to because I was really struggling and I don't have a lot of st strength uh, making uh, holes. So <laughs> I thought, what could I do? So I chose this to do the job, and you can uh, turn these. So there are more sides. Here you have sort of a cube that you cube, I mean that you can pull out and then turn to whatever you want. And uh, here is also something you can turn. So you have a bigger one and you have a smaller one. And for this I will use I think I used a smaller one, so I will keep it as it was. And then uh, here you will have a latch and when you push it all the way back you see here you can all also um, <coughs> uh, make the holes. So um, I do want one a little bit smaller so I'm going to use this and then all you have to do is line it up. And then see where your, uh, let me see if I can show you all how I did that. So, 
a little bit to the side and then the oh <laughs> it's over here and then I will just uh, put it on the dot where um, that thingy is also looking at the camera if I'm in the right spot just about here and then I did make a hole and it's a little bit crooked but that's okay this is mixed media and um, it doesn't have to be just right in the middle except when you want it to be that way of course try the blue one the blue one and I will have to correct my settings this one will go to the smaller one that's correct and this is also will go to the smallest one and I think then it will be okay let me try it that, this is really not easy to film <laughs> if I'm honest but well mm. yeah this is the right now it's okay you see I went a little bit next to it to squeeze a little bit too hard so I made a almost made a new hole so I will do one more let me do that on camera uh, let me try a black star now if I can get it out Ooh. <laughs> went all the way up here of course only when i'm filming something like this will happen really <laughs> okay with this one yes that one went okay now i also have a green flowery one and that one i will do here now i'm get, getting the hang of it a little bit so now for the last one let me get another uh, fun uh, flower or something i have a pink one i'll put it in and then hold it like this so that you can see a little bit i will try and get it like this And then press hope I didn't go crooked yeah it worked okay this was the last one that's something um, I wanted to show and it, uh, it doesn't matter that it's still I'm uh, not fussy cut you can do that afterwards so uh, the fussy cutting I will also show and I will leave a little bit of an edge and uh, try to at least <laughs> Uh, because I also will uh, ink these and for this I'm not going all the way um, let me see how I did that for these yeah I will uh, go a little bit in here then turn my scissors and then go to the next one if I don't like what I see I can always go back in with my scissors right so that's okay to do so this is the first embellishment that we made together now I'm going to the next one first we'll cut it off five for the one and five for the other side I made so these are in real are larger and I made them smaller for the for this kit so 
leave a little bit of a gap and I will uh, go back and make this more like a V you don't have to do it but well I because I made the rest like that I wanted to have sort of a cohesive look like this when I all when it all went the same way so this I will set aside for the cover and I also want to show you um, the flap and I also want to make some eyelets onto these so this is what I did I put a black one on this one it was a little bit close to the edge but it is just uh, good enough so I didn't ink these even still and for this one I thought well the black one really uh, looks uh, good on that one but exactly the same <laughs> my doggy I do want a different one let me try a different color because there is green in it hmm. I don't think I like the green as much what about pink no that's also not the look that I was going for even perhaps a little bit of gold what do you think this could work because here is a little bit of a different color right so hmm yeah I think I'm doing this one I thought I was going for a black one because that really works with the black circles but I do want a little bit of diversity or how do you call that <laughs> so let me try and put this onto here I will put it flat let me see if that works yeah that worked better if I'm doing it like this if I'm holding it like this to show you it really warps the paper or I'm doing something holding it not the right way so these all go back and I also wanted to show you how these embellishments that we just made I will put these tags aside for a minute oops also what I wanted to show you are those two flaps so here I put a green one on it and I will you see the extra hole as you will I will close this also with painty papers I think but then I saw the blue one and the blue one really works with the cover and it's already going bending a little bit back <laughs> or something but um, when I will put the painty papers on the back uh, that will be uh, good enough to straighten it out so I wanted to show you because uh, this I can do different things because it could work as a fla faux flap as well like this and then you will have an extra thing to put something behind it a secret uh, thingy something like that or I make it a real flap when the book closed and then make it like that that it can work but that is not how I intended it to be so when I made this in smaller it works as an envelope but in larger the book is too big for that of course so i will show you with the book that has already ha have has pages so if i would make a flap let me get the one that i scored for instance like an envelope over here see how cool that looks it can also function as a tag holder so like that but let me get the tags out when you put another one <laughs> not a tag so when you put this like this oh, that looks really cool I think I will use it for this one 
if you would use it as an envelope that wouldn't work uh, or I would have to make extra paper so that it can fold all the way over so you could you, it could work but that is a little bit uh, difficult and even it could work as a closure so I could try that in another book perhaps but well uh, yeah this is intended for a faux flap or a extra embellishment so that's why I made it for the cover at least and in smaller you can use it as an envelope a functioning envelope so um, I wanted to show you how this looks so here I will put the embellishment up here or the other way around and here I wanted to put it like this over here and you can also sew this onto it and I was thinking uh, if my uh, if I can't get my sewing machine to work perhaps I will just put the holes into it with a pokey tool and then sew it by hand because it's really a little bit tough I, you can sew it but if you want the thread if you are sewing it and you want the thread to uh, that you see it also in for the inside cover then you will have to wait sewing or what you also can do and that is the most easiest to get the to get the look but not uh, put uh, your your uh, sewing machine through the ringer with all these layers you can also only sew this and then stick it down so then you will have the look and it's not that um, difficult but if you do that it will uh, create more dimension and you will need a stronger glue so for the other book i did put some extra glue and then with the clamp so that it can glue again because i pulled it apart i didn't glue it really i didn't use uh, strong enough glue so for the next part I really want to um, make the inside covers and for that I will clean up everything on my desk and get all my jelly plate printing parts and I want to show you uh, beforehand so that you can also get it uh, get something out so I will use my small uh, gel plate it has already some scribbles on it that uh, that I uh, from something I made uh, earlier so um, what I also will use is an old diction dictionary um, thing a book <laughs> a word book that's called in Dutch or water book so and your paints I will use the red paint oops <laughs> I'll use the red this is just paint that I had this is uh, for children and I will also use my spray and this is really bright neon I um, how do you call that pink <laughs> neon pink and also in the background a little bit of shimmer and I will use acrylic paint metallic uh, metallic paint of course um, and this color is yeah you can see the color it's see-through so this is the color that I will be using I think and also perhaps a little bit of blue I have children's glue over here but I think I will use something different something more uh, opaque 